Hey there, the suit is set up. This is the bunk, bunk board where I got rollers setting on top of it, which raises the boat up two and a half, three inches, I don't know what it is. Too much, so I wanna drop, I wanna drop the bunk boards down as far as they go, can go. Right now, it looks like I can't. This is the front one. Let me see if you see how it's set up here. All right. That's the U bolt. That's this plate on here. That's on the cross cross beam, and the U bolt comes through. Right? It's got these little tits that hang out. And they dig in to that thing for some reason. Anyway, this, this one here, I, I don't know if I'm gonna try to lower it or not, but I already lowered the back, so I got rid of a bunch of junk off in the back. I got, I got rid of this plate. And there's a plate inside of here. What's that got rid of? Well, this one, this one, I don't, I don't see that plate. And uh, <clears throat> I changed this, this bracket to a shorter one that I had on the back. So what I end up doing, you, you see this bolt up in here? That's, that's going through the bracket that screws up to the bunk. This, ho this hole, I ended up dropping it down far enough for this U-bolt to fit through that. So this thing here ends up down here so that's as low as it's going to go and that's what I did to the back all right see back in there anyway that thing is low now so it's at least as low as it was before I put them rollers on there in the back anyway the front is still high but i don't know if i can get away with it being that way as long as long as this back is uh low you know it'll get it'll be down in the water the end of the boards and rollers are being down in the water more than the, than than it was before I done this because it was it was up pretty high but I think it was too high I couldn't couldn't get it so you see that you see the space you see how close it is now? Three, three inches or so from this beam to the bottom of the bunk board. Okay. And look how far this one is from the beam to the bottom of the bunk. Six inches. Back here, you can see 
this here is probably where the, where the boat was originally before I put the rollers on. Okay, you can see it right there. Now you you see see how it goes uphill. So before I drop that back under there this this here was the same as the front so back there was just as high as this was is look how much lower it is so I haven't tried it yet on the boat boat ramp I got a shallow a real shallow ramp and and there's no slope and it's really a pain. Mainly this Jeep over here. The Jeeps are short. You got a back way in the water. I'm trying to get so I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna try it. If this don't work out, I'm gonna lower the front some. Probably not as much as back air, but somehow I'm gonna lower that if I got to drill holes or put new plates or something okay so and I push the the boat back more on the rollers so now these are right up against before it was this eye was stopping back back here. So I think like I said I gotta try all this out and then I'll see. I'll know. But now I can push the boat. I know that by myself, I can push it off the trailer. Okay. And I couldn't hardly do that before. Most of the time I, I had to have somebody else. So these here, there's a, they're sitting back. Let's see, a few inches from the back. Right? And and this here worked out good, this bimini top, how I made these brackets. Okay, so I can put this bimini where I, where I want it, slide it up, back, get it out of my way with the crab and I'm hooking a strap on on here okay that's it